morning everybody welcome to another episode of the hunt for bronze yes another kayak session for bass um we're at north pine dam today um doing something a bit different i've got the old deeper out it has been a long time since i've used that that in a video um now we're just hoping my phone doesn't absolutely demolish battery using it um and we're just gonna have a have a good crack see if we can bang some bass here this morning was absolutely horrendous weather um, for those in Brisbane when this was filmed probably know what I'm talking about actually I think pretty sure all of the East Coast had uh, the weather we've had in the past few days of just bucketing down rain I kind of went back to bed and yeah didn't didn't fish it but yeah we're out here now we're good to go we're gonna go catch some fish and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. We're gonna throw some top water, although it's not early, we've got good cloud cover. Um, and I've still got the wacky rig on, so I'll probably throw that around a few trees and some structure. And we've got a lipless crank on, but I wouldn't be surprised if that buzz bait turns into a spinnerbait real soon. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, okay. Nice. I like that cast, that felt good. Line just came off nicely. That's a good feeling. A little bit of scent on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of scent just in under the skirt. Near the head of the spinnerbait. Often high, but it's able to hold often just under that skirt. Yep, there's a fish on the sink. Not big. No, he's actually not bad. Just didn't do much. He looks like a very sick fish. Wow. Look at that. That's one. Was not a, a good looking fish. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It looked a bit worse for wear. All right, we're gonna just push up further on here. Um, and just fish this bay around to the next point and repeat, literally just Repeat over these points that kind of have wind on them. Um, the main goal is to get to that back bank there where all the wind's pushing up onto because normally it's a good fish holding area. Um, hopefully that wind hasn't done too much swinging today. You know, like that, that couple, you know. Um, Yep, there we go. Jesus. It actually feels like a good fish. No, he's just hooked under the chin. He's not bad. There's a few fish down there too. Oh. Yeah, these hooks funny. Right under the chin. a weirdly hooked bass. That's him. 
Not huge. They put up a bit of a fight. That was cool. So what I'm gonna do, I made the decision. I was I'm in an iron about what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna push back up, fish this little bay where I got a few hits in and that one fish. And then I'm gonna swing over to the other bank and I'm actually gonna give it a go. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, and I should, just to see what it's like. Um, just to see. I might be going for a bust, but sometimes you gotta explore the different zones that you normally do to see if you can find a few fish. Um, I haven't really fished down that end, in all honesty. So, it might be worth a little little look into. Who knows, might find a, a cool little area in there. Let's start fishing this big, long, flat bank. Slow taper, kind of consistent depth. Gonna use the wind, hopefully angled like this, we can just have it push us along. The wind's blowing up on it. Fingers crossed there's a few fish here. I'm just gonna have the sounder on for a little bit. I probably wanna be a bit wider out than six foot anyway. We just, the depth is just a bit too shallow. I don't mind banks this deep, but it's time of day, this dam. That's probably the depth I need to be in, that 12, 13, 14, 15 foot kind of range. It's probably where we're going to find fish that'll want to eat. So you fish it off the shallow stuff into the deep water. Upside is we got that wind, so we can put our big booming casts, fish off the weed and down into slightly deeper water. Now that this bank's tape it a bit steeper we've just well what I've what I've tried is pushing in I'm gonna have a better cast but I want to be able to get up into the shallower water um, I like this sort of bank when there's wind pumping on it but I want to be get able to get up right up in the weed and all the other stuff because the bass will be hunting up in that stuff in the washed bank in the cut there should be a color line from the mud of the bank as it, the waves have gone over it so normally productive area micro nutrients as well that'd be one off at this point. See, he even took my tail. That's just annoying. I knew there'd be one up on in here. Definitely had to be one in here. Oh, the wind, finally. Ooh, hello. Not a bad fish. 
Definitely not a bad bass at all. Bad bass. Oh, yeah, good, good, good. That's him. It's actually pretty good. He'd be a 40 centimeter fish for sure. And he's absolutely walloped that spinner bait. And that's him. Nice little fatty on that spinner bait. Take that hook out to make your spinner bait. And we'll let it go. I knew there'd be one in here. Let's see if there's any more. Okay, so this is, this is just kind of your textbook on using wave and wind in a dam to your advantage. Um, although it's not overly windy at the moment, it has been windy and it has caused a fair bit of wave action. Um, as you guys could tell from where I was sitting, it was very noisy and very wavy. Um, so, if you look at something like that, where we were, you can tell why there are fish there. Um, oh, there was two fish there. I landed one, got one other hit. Um, you can see the bubble trail that's right here. I'm, and I'm sitting in, like, it's oxygenated, there's food. It's, it is just a good place for fish to be sitting. So what I'll do is I'll fish side that I'm fishing and then I'll paddle up through the shallows, turn it around and fish in with the other side. And that way I get both of these banks and give them both a good, good go before, um, well, not before I ruin it, but without kind of paddling over it. Okay guys, so, I didn't really know what I was gonna what I was gonna turn this video into. Um, you know, a couple of fish here and there, but nothing really that stood out as interesting to me. But what I think, what I think I'm gonna turn this into, and um, I don't know. Let me know if you enjoy it. But you know, it's kind of tips on fishing. I'm gonna throw in some tips on how to fish this wind stuff, like I did earlier. But how to fish wind blown banks in a kayak, and how to position your yak and utilize the wind to not only travel the ground, but be able to get home safely as well. Because a lot of people will get in the kayak, drift further than they can paddle back and really struggle. So what I'm doing is I'm setting myself up that in the early part of the day, I put myself in a position that I'd have the wind, particularly in this lake, I'd have the wind pushing me kind of back along a few banks. Um, so where I'm sitting now, back where I kind of started the drift before I got those few, before I got that fish and a couple of those hits. But it's, it's all about getting that kayak in that position where it does the work for you. So if you've got the wind kind of, you're on I guess a 45 to the wind, your kayak's actually gonna be pushed forward. So although I've got the wind pushing me against this bank, it's also pushing me this way. And that's just to do with the, I guess, the aerodynamics of a kayak and how it's channeling the water. Now, each kayak's different. Um, everyone, oh yes. Oh, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, yes. 
Um, sorry, what I was saying. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. That is a nice looking bass. Um, yeah, that's a good healthy bass. And you fish the banks properly and you're going to bank yourself a uh, nice little 40s model. <laughs> nice. Spin bait right in the top there. Bang. Nice fat bronze battler. On that spin bait. Awesome. I think I got the most hits today of like kind of mixing up the retrieve and the spinnerbait, not just the slow roll. It's like burn, kill, pause, twitch. It's been a bit, a bit different, I think. Yep, there's a fish. Doing that kill pause wind that I was just talking about. Just mixing it up. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Banged it right at the top of his mouth. <sighs> nice bronze battler. <sighs> ah, I got water again over the side of the kayak. Let some of it out. <laughs> okay, so that again, that kind of kill stop wine. So I'm, it's more erratic, I guess. It's kicking the blades around. I don't know. Might be just pausing it long enough to get in their face to give them the want to eat it. I don't know. Or just that change. I'm not complaining, that's for sure just makes you wonder like if you were doing that all day would you ha be having a cricket score day um, or is it just that's what the fish want right now at this right time and you know what this actually leads quite well into a podcast I did on Lake St. Clair um, fishing the other day because I spoke about how mixing up your retrieve, you know, putting a lot of variation in what you do because not every day is a straight slow wind like that going to get your fish. Some days you're going to have to pause, pause it, let it sink. It's going to be a quicker wind. They're going to be actually wanting to react to it. It's going to be pulled out of their face quickly. Other days it's going to be a, what I'm doing today, which is a, you know, a real erratic Give it enough time to sink. And then roll, then maybe a pause. You know, really mixing it up, just so they don't know what to expect. Okay, next bank. Not, didn't really travel that far, but hey, gonna give it a go. There's a lot of timber and stuff in this one, so. Could be some fish. Could not be. Who knows? We'll find out.
Oh, yes. There could be fish here. This one should be a nice one. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Another, another one of that mid 30s model. Absolutely belted that spinnerbait on the paws. Look at that. How cool is that? Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Bang. And we'll say goodbye to him. Bye, buddy. Damn it. A few hits in that. Yes, there we go. I knew there was, well, there was, had to be a few fish in there because I had three hits and three casts. Like, he's, an, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's got some go about him. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Forties range. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice forties centimeter bass, and he's absolutely choked that Demiki TOT spinnerbait. I love it. Can't get enough. All right, guys, that does it. Another episode of the Hunt for Bonds done and dusted. As you guys know, spinnerbait of choice was a Demiki TOT um, on the old faithful being the immortal eight to 14 pound as i said excellent spinnerbait rod for so many reasons um hope you guys learnt how to do a bit of posi kayak positioning uh in the wind today and how you can maximize your drifts even if you don't have the wind directly at your back um it worked for me today i managed to get quite a few quite a few little fish which was good a um, couple of couple of better ones I think we finished with about seven, which in today's weather, post that front we had this morning, I'm pretty chuffed with, I'm not going to lie. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions about kayaking related stuff, spinnerbaits I used or any other techniques, throw me a comment or if you enjoyed it, just leave a little comment on the video below. I read and I try to reply to all of them guys. So yeah, just yeah, give it, give it a little bit of a, give us a comment. Give us one. Go on. Being an idiot. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Until next time, go out fishing, enjoy yourselves, and we out.